It is my favorite time of the episode where we bust out our our bag of humor and tickle your funny bone with the fake Blue Jays news. And it's a segment where all it is, we're, it's just for fun, ladies and gentlemen. None of it's real. Everything's made up and the points don't matter. It's just fake Blue Jays news, and I can't wait. So, without further ado, Jays from the Couch proudly presents fake Blue Jays news. Karen, over to you. Conspicuous by his absence so far at spring training has been 2022 All-Star catcher Alejandro Kirk. Kirk, who is a Mexican native, has so far remained back in Mexico with his significant other because she is expecting the couple's first baby any minute now. Kirk was also slated to play catcher for uh, Mexico in the World Baseball Classic. Unfortunately, the more time has gone on and he's missed time at camp and there came a point where he simply couldn't do both and Alejandro Kirk has pulled out of the World Baseball Classic. When that news broke, um, reports came in that Ross Atkins was heard muttering under his breath, well, if he had pulled out nine months ago, he probably wouldn't be in this situation. (laughs) Ross Atkins has been so far unavailable for comments. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I don't know. I think Karen telling that joke was what made it even funnier. <laughs> um, anyway, continue. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me get my composure here. All right, continuing with fake Blue Jays news. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays recently added a couple of friendly faces to their spring workouts. Former Saw Young winner Pat Hankin and former Parrot Walker Edwin Encarnacion will be helping out at camp as special assistants. <clears throat> everyone is thrilled about their their new placement all except kevin biggio of course who's upset because um <laughs> because now the alumni will have a bigger role on the team than he will um and it's been suggested that maybe maybe he could step into a base running coach since he's uh, such a talented base runner uh but jay's front office way ahead of him on that one as well. They went with somebody with more experience in the, uh, from the Junior Day Saturday staff who helped get so many feet around those bases. <clears throat> Sorry, Kevin. There isn't a place for you. Anyway, the Blue Jays also announced uh, their promotion schedule uh, for this upcoming summer, and some of the highlights are the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. bobblehead featuring Vladdy stretched out to catch what can only be described as a throw from Bro- Bo Bichette. What's interesting about this story is that the once, um, excuse me, once the promotional schedule was drafted and handed out and all of that stuff, it, it caused quite a stink. And in fact, it's what uh, caused the the delay in the Bo Bichette arbitration mm-hmm. hearing. And one thing happened, and everything else fell into place. Originally, the bobblehead featured Bo Bichette as well, but Bo said. <clears throat> Take me out of it. I don't need any credit. Look how happy that little doll looks. Let him have it. <clears throat> as well, the Blue Jays will be featuring a Jose Barrios bobblehead. But as opposed to the normal head shaking that a bobblehead actually does, this one's head whips right around to watch where the ball went. <clears throat> and then after it whips it around and brings its head, it just hangs its head in sadness. And finally... There were some rejected baseball bobblehead dolls uh, that, to come out. In fact, um, there was a partnership with Blue Cross presenting the George Springer bobblehead, given the amount of uh, injury claims. Um, but that was rejected uh, so as to keep George happy. Steve, over to you. As you may have heard, the Blue Jays announced the hiring of former Astros general manager James Click earlier today. The press release indicated Click's new position would be vice president of baseball strategy and that he would work with GM Ross Atkins on, I quote, strategic planning, decision making and evaluation across the amateur and professional levels. In other words, he's going to be a GM. Team president Mark Shapiro told Toronto reporters that we were exceptionally excited that he chose us, as are all of us at Jays from the Couch. Atkins also added that Click had options for his next job. Yes, he does. Don't extend your lease, Ross. 
The Blue Jays also announced they were responding to fan requests for additions to the team's radio broadcast come opening day. It was previously announced Ben Wagner would handle radio play-by-play solo for the coming season. By popular demand, the Jays will add two presences to the radio broadcast. One will be a Morse code simulcast of Wagner's commentaries, which should make it easier to understand what he's talking about. And the other will be ambient static noise to make sure you do not hear what Wagner has to say. Back to you, Sean. Oh my God! Uh, I, I got nothing. I, I don't. I don't know how to how to come back from any of this. So we'll just leave it at that. That has been fake Blue Jays news.